Yo, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's Egal Talk Football. We're back again with another video. And today's another Arsenal transfer news update. By the way, today's headlines are crazy. We finally got some outgoing. With Nicolas Pepe potentially headed out of the club, Rob Holding has two clubs fighting over him. Guys, we got a bidding war for Rob Holding. Also, we're going to be facing Crystal Palace today. So give me your score predictions right now. As you guys know, on my match preview, I gave you guys my predicted 11. And I also gave you my score prediction. Hint, hint. We're going to win. <laughs> but let me know how much you think we're going to win by. And if we're going to keep a clean sheet or not. Crystal Palace are a tough team. But in other news, Thomas Partey, we got to talk about him. Nicolas Pepe, we got to talk about him. But there's a bigger story. Real Madrid have come in for one of our center backs. And no, it is not William Saliba. It's Gabriel Magalhães himself. So we're going to get into all of this, plus more on Arsenal transfer for news today. Do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And I got to tell you guys. Only about 49% of you guys who watch these videos are actually subscribed. So if you've gotten this far in the video, subscribe, hit a like, and also leave a comment down below. Let me know where you're watching from because I love to hear from all you guys. Let's get the show started. Here we go. Yes, 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 people. So we got to begin. We got to begin because there's a lot to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot going on with Arsenal transfer news. And shout out to everyone. By the way, my prediction for the Crystal Palace game is a 2-1 victory. I did think it's going to be a tight game, but let me know what your prediction is in the comment section right now. And I'll try to get to all your comments as I do try to respond to as many comments as possible. Now, big up to everyone in the comment section, everyone watching this on the playback. Let's get through it. So, of course, Arsenal will be wearing the away kit for today's game. So get used to this kit. Even if you don't like it, it's going to be the kit that we're going to be wearing for the rest of the season. Monaco remained in talks with Arsenal over Fulham Balogun. We're going to have to see as Arsenal have rejected two bids for Fulham Balogun. And I don't know if we're going to get a bid over the line. Now, Chelsea and Tottenham have also come in for Balogun. So we're going to have to see what's going on with him. He's definitely going to be leaving the club. We just don't know if we're where. And is Arsenal going to budge on the valuation or is somebody else going to finally meet our valuation? That's what we need. At this moment in time, Arsenal value him at at least 50 to 50, uh, 50 to 45 million pounds. But a lot of teams in Europe only value him around 30 to 35 million pounds. The reality is... Arsenal in today's market should be asking for that price and they maybe should be even getting up to 80 for a guy who scored 20 goals last season in, in the league. Now, a lot of Arsenal fans, you guys don't want, you guys want Balogun to stay, but Mikel Arteta and the club have sort of made it clear that he seems to be the one that's going to be on the chopping block and he's going to be the one that heads up. Now, talking about players on the chopping block, there is still no activity on Lokonga. Unfortunately, Lokonga has not yet received any major talks with Burnley or anything else. So at this moment in time, Lokonga is still an Arsenal player and there's no real talks on going. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens there. But there is some great stories about Nicolas Pepe. Now, Nicolas Pepe has rejoined with the Arsenal squad for the first time since going on loan to, uh, to uh, what was it, Rems? Or, yeah, Rems, I think. No, that was, it was neat. It was, it was not Nice? I think it was Nice. Yeah, it was Nice. Rems was Balogun. My apologies. But getting back to it, Nicolas Pepe is back with the Arsenal team. Dialogue between Arsenal and Besiktas remains still open as Arsenal might have to terminate his contract so he can make a move to Besiktas. But we won't terminate the contract because we're going to try to see if we can get some money out of it. If we can get some transfer fee out of it or a potential transfer fee, amazing. You can have him. Five million, he's yours. But unfortunately, Saudi Arabia, nobody else is really coming in for him at this moment in time. So we have to wait and see what happens. But yeah, this, this is these are quick stories today. So sorry if I'm breezing through them. But my thought on Nicolas Pepe is he doesn't have anything to offer us. He doesn't play the style of play that Mikel Arteta needs. And unfortunately, that was 72 million pounds that did not work out. But he's still a better transfer than some of these guys that are still in Premier League teams. Like, look at Anthony, guys. Anthony is a waste of money for Manchester United. But they still they still trying their best to get something out of there. You look at Sancho. I think he's offered us more, and he won a trophy at Arsenal. So Nicolas Pepe will go down as one of the worst signings in Arsenal transfers history, monetary-wise, uh, return on value. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. We move on. We're a better team now for it. And sometimes you got to sacrifice these players, even even if even if you spent a lot of money on it, if they don't fit your system. And I like this approach to Arsenal. Old Arsenal, we would have tried to keep. Uh, we could, we would have tried to keep making it work, even though it doesn't work. So it's a good thing that we've moved on. 
In other news, uh, William Saliba and Emerson throwing photos in training. Love to see it. Balogun stuff. By the way, Balogun does have another major suitor who's interested in him. Marco Silva and Fulham. Fulham are serious about getting a striker in as Mitrovic is on his way to Saudi Arabia. Now, if Balogun can get, if we can get 35 million plus add-ons that can get us up to that 50 million mark from Fulham, I would ship him to a Premier League team. I don't care. But if that Premier League team is a Chelsea or a Tottenham, that price tag is over 50 million. I want 60 minimum. But since it's Fulham and I don't view them as a threat, I would be okay with giving them 35 plus add-ons, get it up to 50 and maybe some uh, some potential sell-on clause or something like that, that would benefit us because we do have sell-on clauses in other players that we're going to talk about in a second. And Arsenal just recently made another 2 million off Mavropanos, who, who's going to be moving uh, to the Premier League very soon. So that is another interesting conversation that we need to discuss in a second. But will Balogun stay in the Premier League or will Balogun go somewhere else? We need to, we need to see. We need to wait and see what, what happens with that. Now, this next story is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. This next story is insane, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, Gabriel Magalhães is not rated by a lot of rival fans. Apparently, Gabriel Magalhães is not rated by the Brazil squad, but he is rated by Real Madrid. He's rated by Saudi Arabia. As reported by the Daily Mail today, Real Madrid are genuinely interested in Gabriel Magalhães. Hands off, Real Madrid. He's not coming nowhere near your club. He's not leaving Arsenal. But the center back is happy at Arsenal. And he just recently signed a new contract, ladies and gentlemen. So we got the 25-year-old wrapped up for another four years. So we're good. As there is also interest from Saudi Arabia for the 25-year-old midfielder. I mean, center half. And he's committed his future to Arsenal. And one step further in the league this season. I don't think Gabriel Magalhães is any, anywhere. Real Madrid can come in for him. Barcelona can come in for him. Bayern Munich can come in for him. Even Man City can come in for him. He is not going nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. Gabriel Magalhães is my guy. He's, a, he's our center back. And he's not going nowhere. At this moment in time, I want to know well, how much do you guys value Gabriel Magalhães in the transfer market? I think if he was to actually leave Arsenal, we'd be asking for a minimum up words of 80 to 90 million pounds and that's because he has a new four-year deal and how good he is as a center back and he's only 25 it would not make sense for us to even sell him but if we did sell him i would want close to 80 to 90 million pounds but yeah the daily mail not the most reliable source but when they when it comes to england they do get a lot of things right so i am not i am not selling him at all but we're gonna have to wait and see what happens with that that is another story that goes the other way. Of course, the potential talks with Besiktas and Pepe have been ongoing. But this is what caught my eye, ladies and gentlemen. Rob Holding, Holdinho could be headed to France. Yes, Rems are on track to talk to Rob Holding as they've opened talks with Rob Holding. Not only Rems, but also a team in Turkey are also interested. I think it's Besiktas. There's two teams interested in Rob Holding too. We couldn't get one bid from Rob Holding. Now we got two. This is what happens when you have a good team, ladies and gentlemen. People start coming for your dead wood and thinking they're good players because your team, somehow he's in your team, so he must be good. This is how Liverpool sold Rian Brewster for so much money. Arsenal capitalized on the fact that we're good right now and get rid of these fringe players for some money. And if we can improve our sales, I'm gonna give Edu a big hug next time I see him, or, or, or I'm gonna have to send him. I'm gonna have to send him the best Vimto I can find because we don't do alcohol. But yeah, that's if you guys know Vimto, um, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, big up, big up Rob Holding. If you can get him gone to France or Turkey, I think he would actually do good. Rob Holding is not a bad defender when you ask him to just defend, head the ball away, and do the basics. What he has a problem with is when you ask him to play a high line and you ask him to, to, to be technically skilled, he's not that guy. Sometimes he tries to do too much, and that's what gets in the way of his, his progress, in my opinion. That's where Rob Holding goes wrong. But hey, um, in other news... Uh, Zinchenko and Partey have traveled with the team. No issues there. Um, what else is there? And uh, there's there's also the Besiktas. Besiktas have started discussions with Rob Holden. This was about three hours ago. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens with all these links and sources. But at this moment in time, it is very interesting times with Arsenal. It looks like we might have a lot of outgoing potential and a lot of and a, and we don't know yet what what else is going to be incoming. That's the honest truth. There's not too many more incoming stories. But there were a couple 
And I just want to put some of these other stories to bed. So, of course, we spoke about Rob holding to Rems. We spoke about that. We spoke about some of these things. What is this? Uh, Rob holding to Besiktas. Uh, Pepe to Besiktas. Um, oh, unfortunately, this is a sad story, guys. 30 million pound deal for Nuno Tavares has fallen apart. There's been a collapse in the conversations. So Nuno will not be going to Nottingham Forest. I'm quite disappointed in that. I, I wanted that 30 million. Uh, but yeah, in other news, we did get we did get a 3 million euro add-on. Uh, 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 sorry, we, we did get a fee off the back of uh, Mavropanos headed to West Ham. So Mavropanos headed to West Ham. Arsenal is going to make 2 million off the Mavropanos to West Ham deal. So bring me my money. That's what I'm saying. Bring me my money. This is this is a good vibes right now. And then finally, we've spoken about all these things. We've spoken about all these things. Oh, Gabriel Magalhães also made the Brazil squad. So did Gabriel Martinelli. So shout out to them for making the Brazil squad. And finally, where's the last bit of news? We kind of spoke of everything else. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Partey is not going nowhere. He's not going to Saudi Arabia. We're not going to entertain it. We're not going to entertain an Italy transfer either. At this moment in time, it's too late in the transfer window for Arsenal to be selling Thomas Partey. But maybe Manchester United should sell Casemiro. And and and, that, and that's the guy that Saudi Arabia could end up getting um, for their midfielders. Or or you never know. I, I'm hearing I'm hearing through the grapevine that Saudi Arabia is looking seriously at at Casemiro. So that is an interesting thing going on at this moment in time. We got to wait and see what happens there. But hey, for now, I bid you guys adieu, ladies and gentlemen. I say this. I'll be back for the... Oh, there's one more thing. There's one more thing. Ivan Tony in January. Who says no? Because Ivan Tony himself had this to say on the podcast, um, The Diary of a CEO today. Check it out. Listen, let me know if... Hopefully the sound is good. Let me just make sure the audio is good before I play it. Yeah, the audio is on. Let's go. Be like the right club. When you say the right club, you're not talking about Liverpool, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I you're a I Liverpool mean, fan. Yeah, a Liverpool fan, a Liverpool fan. I feel... You've been a Liverpool fan your whole life? Yeah, I've been a Liverpool fan my whole life. But from young, I've liked, I've liked Arsenal. I like watching Arsenal from how they play and the kind of how passionate fans are but yeah Liverpool fan Liverpool boy at heart and... hey he's a Liverpool boy at heart but he, he he said the next move has to be the right move and he does shout out Arsenal listen it's not the first time he said Arsenal need a striker and I'm not gonna lie to you guys I would love Ivan Tony at Arsenal if you guys know me I've been screaming for Ivan Tony to join Arsenal for a long time now and if you can get him over the line it would be an amazing signing let me know what you guys think of the potential signing of Ivan Tony to Arsenal. But hey, that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I bid you guys adieu. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. Hopefully you leave a comment down below with your score prediction for the Crystal Palace game. And of course, if you're watching afterwards, let me know what you guys think about the actual transfer rumors. Everything else, I'll bid you guys adieu. I'll catch you guys after the game. I'm going to be going live at around 10.45 and it'll be done by like 11.30. So just stay tuned for that. And I'm out of here, people. Love for the love. You already know what it is. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. <laughs>